Hi, in this video, we'd like to discuss another common cause for recurrent miscarriage, which is known as corpus luteum insufficiency. Now, if the name sounds very daunting, uh, let's break it down together. So corpus luteum is simply a, a small piece of a yellow uh, organelle that is found inside the ovary that is responsible for secreting progesterone. Now, progesterone is a very important pregnancy hormone as we all know because uh, first of all its function is to vascularize and thicken the uh, endometrium to facilitate a potential pregnancy so that a pregnancy does happen and also a baby can be born secondly it also is responsible for the controlling of the uterine uh, muscle contraction and its sensitivity to make it less sensitive the more progesterone there is the less sensitive it is to contractions and the more stable your pregnancy is uh, furthermore it also helps in the growth and development of your embryo and also fetus especially in the first trimester where where the pregnancy is slightly more vulnerable as compared to the second or tri third trimester now the uh, progesterone does have several other functions but we need to understand that uh, progesterone is probably the most crucial uh, hormone during a pregnancy. Now in the first trimester, uh, before the placenta is fully formed, because the placenta will only be fully formed after the first trimester, somebody has to uh, secrete the progesterone. So in the first three months, your corpus luteum of your ovaries will be responsible for the progesterone uh, secretion. Uh, once you reach the third month, your placenta will be fully developed and the placenta will kick in in uh, other functions and also will be responsible for the uh, progesterone secretion. And the corpus luteum will no longer need to be uh, dependent anymore and your pregnancy will be very stable. So in the first three months, it's very crucial that your progesterone secretion is stable and healthy. So cor corpus luteum insufficiency means that in your first three months, the corpus luteum is not secreting the optimal amounts of progesterone, thus affecting your pregnancy, leading to fetal demise, stillbirth, or a miscarriage. Now, if this happens repeatedly, uh, we will call this a recurrent miscarriage. So corpus luteum insufficiency can be caused by several underlying gynecological diseases such as uh, endometriosis or chocolate cysts specifically, or PCOS, POI, and other uh, conditions of the ovaries. Uh, there are several. So diagnosis is key here, so if you do want to get it treated, but if you do come for treatment during pregnancy, we can only provide you progesterone supplements and uh, we cannot treat you because you are pregnant. So during pregnancy, for the first three months before your placenta is fully developed, what we will do here is that we will supplement the amount of uh, progesterone that you are missing until your placenta is fully developed. So all we need to do is do it until week 12 or week 13. And after that, your placenta will kick in and your uh, this hormonal supplementary can stop and you can go home to recover. After giving birth to your uh, child, then you can come back for the uh, diagnosis and treatment as to what exactly caused your corpus luteum insufficiency. So that in your next pregnancy, uh, this type of scenario will not happen and you can have a full-term healthy pregnancy uh, without coming to the hospital and only coming to the hospital for giving birth. Now, if you'd like to find out more information about our diagnosis, treatment of a corpus luteum insufficiency, what exactly causes it, please uh, visit our websites, take a look at our videos and articles. Any questions, please leave them down in the comments below.